The first form is called repulse monkey. Its funny name means driving away a monkey. What is monkey doing here? Well, the creature of Tai Chi observed the animals fighting and was inspired. Then he imitated the movement of animals, integrated the movement with the yin yang theory and created Tai Chi. So many Tai Chi forms have names related to animals. Now let's repulse monkey. From start form, I'm facing 12 clock and press down both hands. Turn body to 130, front right corner. At the same time, drop both hands with fingers pointing downwards. Please note, both arms are not fully straight, but with elbows slightly bent. Then separate both hands, turn palms up and raise both hands to shoulder level with right hand at 430 rear right corner and the left hand at 12 o'clock. When you raise both hands, turn neck to look at the right hand, but your body or your chest is facing 130. Next, bend right elbow to bring right hand close to right ear. At the same time, turn your neck to look at 12 o'clock, but your body is still facing 130. Next, turn body to 12 o'clock and push right hand to 12 o'clock at shoulder level. At the same time, pull back the left hand to the side of waist with palm facing up. Look forward. It's the right side. The left side. Turn body to 1030, front left corner. At the same time, drop left hand with fingers pointing downwards. Then raise left hand to shoulder level with palm up at 730, rear left corner. At the same time, turn right palm up. When raising left hand, turn neck to look at your left hand at 730. But your body or your chest is facing 1030. Next, bend your left elbow to bring left hand close to left ear. At the same time, turn your neck to look at 12 o'clock. Just turning neck, your body is still facing 1030. Next, turn body to 12 o'clock and push left hand to 12 o'clock at shoulder level. At the same time, pull back right hand to the side of waist with palm facing up. Look forward. Turn body to face front right corner. Drop both hands to straighten arms and separate both hands slightly with fingers pointing downwards. The arms are not fully straight but with elbows slightly bent. Continue to separate both hands, turn palms up and lift both palms. Turn neck to look at the right hand. It's continuous movement and the hands move in curves, down and up, 
like saying welcome. It's not to turn neck only, but turn the body for 45 degrees to face front right corner at 130. When you raise two palms, the two arms are still not fully straight, but with elbows slightly bent. Next, bend right elbow to bring the hand to right ear. Bend the elbow to lift hand and then drop to the ear, as if the hand pivots on the elbow. The right hand still moves in a curve, up and down to the right ear. Next, turn body back to 12 o'clock and push right hand to 12 at shoulder level. At the same time, pull back the left palm to the wrist. The right hand is not moving from 4.30 directly to 12 o'clock. Move to the ear first, then push to 12. From start form, turn body and raise both palms. When pushing right hand, pull back left hand to the side of wrist. The left side movement is almost the mirror image of the right side movement. Turn body for 45 degrees to face front left corner at 10.30 if my street ahead is 12. At the same time, drop left hand and raise it to rear left corner at 7.30. When moving left hand, turn the right palm up at the same time. The left hand also moves in a curve, down and up. When you raise left hand, turn neck to look at it, but your body is facing 10.30. Then bend left elbow, turn body, push left hand and pull back right hand. From start form, now we are facing 12 o'clock. Turn body to 130. At the same time, drop both hands, separate, turn palms up, and raise them to shoulder level with right hand at 430 and the left hand at 12 o'clock. When you raise both hands, turn neck to look at right hand. but your body or your chest is facing 130. Next, bend right elbow to bring right hand close to right ear. At the same time, turn your neck to look at 12 o'clock, but your body is still facing 130. Next, turn body to 12 o'clock and push right hand to 12 o'clock at shoulder level. At the same time, Pull back the left hand to the side of wrist with palm facing up. Look forward. Left side. Turn body to 1030. Drop left hand and raise it to shoulder level with palm up at 730. At the same time, turn right palm up. Look at your left hand at 730, but your body is facing 1030. Next. Bend your left elbow to bring left hand close to left ear and turn your neck to look at 12 o'clock. Just turning your neck, your body is still facing 10.30. Next, turn body to 12 o'clock and push left hand to 12 o'clock at shoulder level. At the same time, pull back right hand to the side of wrist with palm facing up. Look forward.
turn body, drop both hands, separate, turn palms up, and raise them to shoulder level. Bend right elbow, push right hand, and pull back the left hand, left side. Turn body, drop left hand, raise it, and turn right palm up. Bend your left elbow, push left hand, and pull back right hand. So this is repulse monkey. You can continue and repeat. Turn your body to 130 again. Drop right hand and raise it to shoulder level at 430. And turn left palm up. Then bend, push, and pull back. Then the left side. Turn body, drop and raise left hand. Turn right palm up. Bend, push, and pull back. You can repeat and repeat. When raising both hands, inhale. When pushing right hand, exhale. When raising left hand, inhale. When pushing left hand, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 